guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you five new slow cooker recipe ideas. It's actually the half term at the moment, so I'm just going to be showing you what I'm feeding my family this week. Slow cooker meals are my go-to meal when it comes to holidays and weekends, simply because I am trying to be out the house all day to entertain the kids. So I like to get up, prepare our dinner, put it in the slow cooker, and then when we come home from our daily activities, dinner is just ready to be served. The only thing sometimes that I do is cook some rice up when I get home, but that doesn't take any more than about 15 or 20 minutes. So yeah, slow cooker meals are just really easy, simple, and absolutely delicious as well. Um, I'll link the slow cooker that I am using down in my description box. I have a 6.5 litre slow cooker. It's about 28 pounds. It's not expensive, but I use it all the time, and I've had it for absolutely years as well well um yeah so i'm going to start off with what i'm making tonight oh by the way everything that i will make i will link it down below in my description box as well so if you miss any ingredients that i say when i'm talking then just refer down to my description box and you'll be able to find all the recipes and quantities and things like that so it's monday today i'll start off with today's meal we're having like a sticky beef casserole type thing so um for this recipe i am just going to saute off some onions and garlic and then i will add my beef to the pan as well i always like to cook my meat before it goes into the slow cooker just to seal it i don't know i just think it tastes a little bit better but it's totally up to you how you cook yours as well you can pop it all in raw if you want to once i've browned off my meat a little bit i will then add in some brown sugar some soy you also want to add in some ginger you can use fresh ginger or like i've got here i've got powdered ginger ginger and it diced carrots um also some sriracha as well i never say that properly <laughs> but it's this stuff here 200 mils of beef stock and also some red wine as well so i'll just pop that all into the slow cooker and let it cook away for seven hours on low when i get home i will cook up some rice and i'll serve it with that i will then sprinkle over some spring onions and some sesame seeds as well and that's your meal done it's really delicious and it's a great one to do in the slow cooker because i do sometimes find beef can be quite tough but served this way in the slow cooker for seven hours it's absolutely melt in your mouth delicious right so for dinner tonight i am making like a creamy garlic spinach sun-dried tomato chicken dish so here are the ingredients i'm going to use so i've got one onion diced up in there i've got five garlic cloves i've got chicken i've got some creme fraiche I've also got some parmesan cheese and then I've got some sun-dried tomatoes here. I've already put in my frozen spinach there and then I've got some new potatoes to serve it with. What I'm going to do with this is um, fry up the onion and garlic and the chicken to brown everything off and to kind of seal the meat and then I will add in my vegetable stock and my creme fraiche and just give it all a little mix around. Then I'll transfer it into my slow cooker but I have got my um, frozen spinach in here already and then I'll add in my sun-dried tomatoes pop it on low for seven hours like about half an hour or so before I come to serve it I will roast up my little new potatoes so I'll serve those on the side um, you can serve this with rice you can serve this with pretty much anything like couscous or anything like that I also put a big kind of trunk of parmesan cheese in there. I don't even bother grating it or anything like that because as it's in the slow cooker for seven hours, it will just melt down really nicely and slowly as everything cooks away. And then that's it, that's your dinner made. Right, so for dinner tonight, I have never actually tried this before. I am doing jacket potatoes in the slow cooker. I've seen people do this, but I, like I said, I've never ever tried it before. So I'm gonna um, prick my um potatoes put like a little cross on them wrap them up in foil individually and then pop them into the slow cooker this is just how i've seen that they have been done by others and then i have got all of this which is the leftovers from the um garlic creamy chicken i did last night i didn't want to make like a whole new meal for tonight because i've got these leftovers i thought i would just have the jacket potatoes and then put this on the side or over the top and i think that would go really really nicely so that's what we're doing for dinner tonight and i'll let you know how the jacket potatoes turn out right look the jacket potatoes have been in for seven hours now so i'm just literally going to open one up and then I'm going to just pierce it with a knife and see. Oh, it feels nice and soft. So obviously you won't get the crispy skin. Oh my gosh, that just goes 
straight in that's amazing we don't have a microwave so for us to do jacket potatoes i'm gonna turn my slow cooker off now for us to do jacket potatoes i have to cook them in the oven for well like well over an hour really or i have to chop them in half i mean you do get the crispy skin like that so that is the good thing about using the oven now i know i can do this and as soon as i get back from being out my jacket potatoes are going to be ready I definitely don't need a uh, microwave now. So anyway, I'm going to heat up my leftovers now and then I'm going to serve up my dinner. Really simple dinner. I feel like I haven't done anything because it took me about three minutes to prep these jacket potatoes and then obviously I just stuck them in there and they're ready to serve now. This is a brilliant dinner. So if you've got leftovers and it will go with a jacket potato, then this is definitely an amazing option. Right, sorry about what I look like because I've just um, been to a PT session and I've been chopping up some onions so I'm crying and I've got greasy hair. So tonight as our slow cooker dinner I am making a chicken korma. So in here I have diced up some onions and garlic and then I have made myself a curry paste here. So I tell you guys about these spices all the time. These are my absolute favorite. So to make my curry paste, because I'm doubling up on quantities here, I'll write all the quantities down below, but I've used two tablespoons of garam masala, one tablespoon of cumin, one tablespoon of turmeric, and two tablespoons of this Madras curry powder. Um, and then I've just added some boiling water to it and made it into a paste like that. It just means it makes it a lot cheaper. You know exactly what's in your paste. Um, I buy these big things of all the curries, like the spices, so that I can use them over and over again. It makes it really cheap. So I'm going to fry off my onions now. And then I have got some chicken thighs, boneless chicken thighs. So once my onions kind of sauteed off a little bit, what I will do is chop up my thighs and add them into my onion mix and brown off my chicken. I will then add in my curry paste, some chopped tomatoes, and I have also got these tomatoes as well. Um, mix it all together, just brown everything off, and then pop it straight into my slow cooker for seven hours. And then just before I'm going to serve it up, I will mix through some um, creme fraiche. It will just give it a really nice kind of creamy um, flavor to it. Make some rice, and that's my meal done. Right, so for my slow cooker meal tonight, I am going to do a slow cooker lasagna. This is a bit like my jacket potatoes. I've never done one of these before, but I've heard lots of people doing them in their slow cooker. We are out all day today and we have got friends over, so I know when all the kids come home, they're gonna be absolutely starving. So I'm going to be doing this and I'm gonna let you know how it turns out. I have got a big five, oh, 750 gram mince meat. I have made my white sauce, my roux already, and I'm just about to make my mince mix up. So I'm going to use one onion, about five cloves of garlic. I've got the 750 grams of mince. I'm going to add in some chopped tomatoes as well and then season it with salt and pepper. And I will also add in a vegetable stock cube. I know I'm using beef, but I just think vegetable stock cubes make everything taste so much nicer. I never really, I always use these. I never really use the stock cube to go with the meat I'm using, if that makes sense. So then what I'm going to do is, in my slow cooker, I'll start off with a um, white sauce base, then I'll lay some pasta down, then I'll put my minced meat on top, then um, another layer of white sauce, pasta, minced meat, um, white sauce, pasta, and then some kind of keep on going like that really um, until it's completely full up. I'm not going to add cheese now. I'm going to add cheese at the end because I'm worried that um, it'll get quite greasy. So I want to see how greasy it's going to get before I add in extra cheese. If not, I will just grate some cheese on like individual portions when I serve this up. Um, yeah, and that's gonna be dinner tonight. So I'm quite excited to try this out. I've always wanted to try out a um, lasagna in the slow cooker. You can also make this veggie. So instead of using the um, steak mince, just almost make like a ratatouille instead. So roast up vegetables or just cook loads of veggies on the hob. And then that is your kind of mince layer instead of the mince. So yeah, that's what we have for dinner. Thanks 
much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if you did so I know to make more videos like this and I will see you guys next time. Bye.